Morocco is a victim of its own success. The significant economic development of recent years, due to agriculture and tourism, has created additional pressure on water resources. In 2013, the number of foreign visitors increased by 7%, for the first time numbering over 10 million. Over the past five years, agricultural production rose by 7.6% and now accounts for almost a fifth of Morocco's exports. The construction sector is also booming, with new towns springing up around major cities. With no significant water reserves, the kingdom had to find a way to finance the often expensive technological solutions to meet these new demands. The African Development Bank has provided approximately $1.4 billion to the water sector, which has helped provide drinking water to 15 million people. Because of the various projects funded by the bank, we were able to help the Moroccan government preserve and sustain water resources, because this is an arid country where water is hardly plentiful. The city of Kenifra in the Middle Atlas region has traditionally relied on river water. But the growth in population has also meant a growth in waste and garbage, which has significantly polluted the river. As a result, some species of fish have disappeared and, more worryingly, humans have begun contracting new forms of disease. The construction of the treatment and desalination plant has meant river water is now safe again for human consumption. A quarter of a million people have directly benefited from this innovative process. Today's youngsters have no idea what we had to go through. Before there was no regular water supply. Then, when the water did come, it wasn't good, it tasted like salt. It's only been three or four years that we now have the right quantity and quality of water. The most recent project proposed by Morocco and financed by the African Development Bank is to strengthen and expand the water supply systems and sanitation in six major Moroccan cities experiencing major tourist and urban development. The sewage treatment plant under construction between Rabat, the administrative capital, and Casablanca, the economic capital, will double water capacity to anticipate the increase in demand. AFDB's policy completely corresponds to the country's vision for sustainable development. And we have far exceeded the terms of achieving the Millennium Development Goals, largely with the support of the AFDB. The new facilities will also benefit livestock and agriculture, as farmers can now safely use water for their animals or crops. This chicken farm has been connected to the network since 2011 and it's been able to modernize its facility, which now houses about 7,000 chicks. A few kilometers away in Kurigba, the sanitation team is cleaning the streets. Just a few years ago, whenever it rained heavily, these streets would regularly flood waters carrying tons of garbage and sewage. Before, when it used to flood, the streets were covered by water and the houses too, and the damage was very serious. Today we no longer have that problem. I can leave my home and walk on the pavement. Even when it's been raining a lot, the streets and houses are no longer flooded. The country faces two major issues when it comes to water. Firstly, to meet sharply rising demand. And secondly, to carefully manage the limited natural reserves. 
With these projects involving more than 30 cities, where two-thirds of Moroccans live, the kingdom, with the support of the AFDB, is preparing itself to meet this challenge.